Yes, greetings family. This is Bomani Tamba. We're live on Revolutionary Cam. And uh, we're here just um, after the journey of a lifetime, Ghana May 2021 journey. And we're here uh, working on a few projects for our Black Star repatriation and Pan-African community there in Jahadzi. And some of the things that we're going to be dealing with is utilities, infrastructure, builders, and it's all around good people that we can connect and build with. So I'm driving through East Legon, my favorite neighborhood in all of Africa, you know, um, based on the fact that it's this beautiful neighborhood with all of the world's energy of the things that you want to do, nightlife, shopping, networking, business, and things like that in the community, and it's a big community or neighborhood. Uh, so we're here at a different part of uh, East Legon, and what I have here is one of my good brothers and to not distract him, also turn the camera in his direction so he can share and introduce himself. Uh, that way we can pronounce his name correctly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Somebody saw you? <laughs> oh. So yes, family, uh, we are still coasting here in Lagon and what I wanted to show you, and our brother is gonna introduce himself in a little bit because uh, he has to focus on driving and moving around. So I'm gonna show you the, some aspects of the neighborhood we're in. And uh, only thing I need to do is I need to like let you know when we're in Isagon Hills. Cause that's uh, where we're going. Right, we uh, and I hit one of the rough roads. <laughs> so this is actually on the hill itself, I, you know, because I've heard about this. I think he's still going on the hill. And family, what I'm doing in my uh, venture is literally putting together different aspects of um, building a united front with different uh, companies and groups so we can complete this Black Star repatriation and Pan-African community. Uh, throughout the journey, I've seen different uh, groups work, work on this and don't really progress to how they really want. So I've taken mental notes and learned a lot from that experience and being a person that I've worked with many different groups. And we're doing things you know, a little more tactical you know, uh, as we uh, use the uh, and the technique of relationship building. It's, you know, it's nothing, it's just a simple basic concept. You build a world of people you can trust, work with, and we look out for each other, and we agree to an end goal. The end goal is to do one thing, one thing only, to help our people repatriate from the African diaspora to the African continent, and being able to put themselves in a position where they can be very fruitful, useful, for nation building, literally us as a people putting our energy together and building what we need for our own brothers and sisters. And as I'm talking, I'm going to be showing you these different uh, neighborhoods and apartment uh, complex and housing schemes and things like that. But we're driving around, you are going to see certain things in the process of building, things coming up from the ground and things established. I've been around Isagon for a long time and I'm starting to not know where I'm at now. Uh, neighborhood is that big, so. How'd you know? On our way to Isagon Hills. Man, it's a heavy duty vehicle, man. 
fill, up, fill it up with a whole crew and a whole bunch of uh, equipment and materials. That's a family giving you a driving view. completion and so you know a little bit of everything but think about it you know give it you know five ten years what is you know Ghana gonna look like I was you know I've been coming here for the last 14 and a half uh, close to 15 years and I've seen things go up from the ground up I've seen this neighborhood not as developed where it just it has grown. As a matter of fact, we're on Smintex Road, and we was talking about when we remember there was nothing there. So these are estates. These are all the estates that this was so family. You see different estates all over the place. Yes, family, another beautiful day in Ghana. And once these journeys end and we're back here, you know, it's a whole lot of networking and business go on, a lot of research and putting things in place. You know? When you talk about repatriation, you talk about a serious movement. You know, you talk about a, you know, a movement that's also been dead where energy have been put in it. But over the last few years, we as a people, the ones of us going back and forth to Africa, connecting, networking, and the ones of us here that have repatriated, have all contributed to a, a more realistic energy. So now we're trying to take that energy to another level where we get you access to land, homes, builders, people dealing with infrastructure, utilities, you know, and build a new future. Lots of land on the motherland, and it's all up to us to develop it in the purpose of straight nation building. So these are the opportunities that we have as a people. So that is my journey sharing with you to all these videos and all around different parts of Africa. And then the ultimate goal you know, is just to build that strong black united front. Those of us from the African diaspora and African continent who have a vision you know, for an independent world for our, our future and our children and just you know, re you know, our ancestors' name and work and as we drive to the area. There's more construction all over the place, family. 
this is me in a Black Star soccer jersey. More development all over the place, family. All over. Okay. Shopping centers, all that good stuff, and road work. So, this is literally another part. A different part of Isagon where the development is you know, building up. Yeah. There you go, men at work. And there you go, get the butter right here with the coconut water. Get you some nice refreshment. So that's the popular store right there, Malcolm. I said everybody, that's where everybody goes shopping. Get you a better view of another one. And that's another serious investment family. You know, when you're in a country that's developing and building, as in various countries in Africa, one of the great opportunities is bringing in the things that's needed and heavy machines and equipment and, you know, those level of technology. Great investment. As a matter of fact, you know, in our community in Jahaji, if we can have you know, a, a nice construction development operation where we have all these things, it does make building of the community you know, a lot smoother. Rough roads. being built up family and this is the same exact neighborhood that we stay in but this is the other side that is being developed as you can see the roads being organized Come be a part of the investment, be a part of the future, be a part of us building our own nation. You know? Got, you know, Ghana set it, it off in 1957. You know? And the vision of Nkrumah. And basically reach out to us in the African diaspora since he lived there and studied there and say, hey, join us in nation building. Serious construction all over the place.
literally have never seen this part of Lagon before. Alright, there goes the Lagon Hill Campus sign. Let's you know where we're at. Family. Are we really on top of a hill? Or is that oh, yes. the name of it? Not yet. Look at these estates right here. What? What? Look at this. Hey. So when I tell people about our community that what we invest in now, 10 years, 15 years from, from now, that will be a metropolis, a black empire. The construction boom is going on all across Africa. Join the party. Invest in black power in African nation building. It's a super big church. And every time I turn around, I, you know, I look to the right or the left, I see a bunch of estates everywhere. Good thing you got this big strong truck you can just choo choo. <laughs> hey so fam that's another thing too. If, you, know, you may want to get a heavy duty vehicle. Because not all the roads are you know are, or you know are all there. Yeah. Like for, for example this one right here. You just need you know need a little touch up and upgrade. When you're going through the undeveloped communities that we are, the roads are not going to be put in, so you need something strong. You know, get you like a Ford 150, 250, you know what I'm saying? One of them, one of them things. I'm trying to see what vehicle this is right here. This thing is rolling. Hello. 
little something that's I look like it's gonna get a little working on soon. This is this feminine part of the land. What are we gonna do? That's my brother. Oh, your brother's saying hail up. What are we gonna do, family, once we get to the actual property, we're gonna get some more footage and everything. But this is like the, the rough view getting there in the unfinished or building and or developing part of Legon. A lot of development man for real. Serious family. Alright, cool so family. The journey continues and we will show you a whole lot more. Canadian school from the ground up. 